Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I am back with yet another favorites, which is our last favorites of the year. I can't believe the year is over. I mean, I feel like everyone says that, but let's wrap up the year with the last favorites video. <laughs> Let's start with skincare. I've really been into skincare recently and I've been using my first two favorites for, I want to say, well over a month now. Um, maybe two months? Has it been two months? I'm not sure. But this is the Muesli, Muesli whatever, um, little prescriptions. I have the anti-aging cream which works on wrinkles, texture, pores, and acne. And this is a tretinoin like balanced serum that I've been loving. Like it's changed like a lot of how my skin's looking. I have gone through some peeling. I went a little bit overboard and thought my skin was stronger than it was like a week or two ago and was using it like back to back to back. And now I'm, I'm not doing that anymore because my chin gets super sensitive and then just like it's not happy with me and peels a lot. So um, I can't say enough good stuff about this. If you, whether you don't have access to a dermatologist, um, your dermatologist is insanely expensive, whatever the case may be, I do recommend Muesli. I'm pretty sure they always have coupon codes going, um, but I'm not 100% sure. But honestly, with investing in this, I feel less need for all of the other, like, things that I used to buy to fill my skincare. Like I don't need as much like, um, like exfoliating acids and stuff because this helps increase cell turnover. So I feel like even though it is a little bit pricey, you can always, like I can justify it because I'm buying less of other things. So, so far I've been in, obsessed with this. I have another shipment coming soon. Um, but after that I don't use, like I haven't used it all, but I want to back up so I don't have to wait for my next shipment. So, um, what I love about it is you don't have to, this isn't sponsored, but you don't have to like continually get the thing. You can pause the subscription, skip it, whatever. Um, the next one I've been loving is the spot cream. This is dark spots and melasma. I have struggled with melasma on my forehead quite a bit since I, even before I was pregnant, to be honest with you, I noticed some darkness coming up and it was truly just sun damage and hormone damage from birth control and all of that stuff. Um, but I've noticed it, it's significantly lighter in the winter anyways. Um, just because it, I'm not in the sun or the heat as much, but this has been a problem area or just like an area that I've wanted to really tackle for a while. And I did have a prescription from my dermatologist and it just went off and I wasn't good about using it. So back on that. And I do have a dark spot like right here that is significantly fading due to the spot cream. So if you deal with melasma or you want tretinoin and don't have access to a dermatologist, I can't recommend Muesli enough. I think I, I'm, I've just been really happy with the service. So moving along, since my skin is peeling, since my skin is just going through it right now, um, right now it's actually looking good, but I have been loving this face cream. So I used to love, and you guys know, I still love the Dr. Dart Ceramiden um, face cream. It's just really pricey. One of you guys recommended though, when I talked about this in my winter skincare video, which I'll throw up in the cards, um, that uh, Holika Holika, Holika Holika, I think that's the name of it, does a like dupe line for Dr. Dart. So I already picked it up. It will be at my house tomorrow. So I ran over to Amazon and it legitimately looks exactly the same. So I'm excited to try it out. But in the meantime, I've been loving this. So much more affordable. I really like a lot of things than Buzzin does. I've worked with them in the past, but they did send this to me. This is the Sika Ceramide Repair Cream. I specifically asked for this because I figured it would be a good mix between the Dr. Dart's Sika Pear line and the Dr. Jart Ceramiden line. And I love this. This is a thick, rich, non-scented, super hydrating and luxe um, cream. And I use this at night. If I'm like peeling though, after I wash my face in the morning before I apply my makeup, I will also put this on. So it does wear well under makeup. This is available on Amazon and it is a Korean based skincare line and I love it. The next thing I also talked about in my winter skincare routine, and you guys recommended a Clarins face or hand lotion, which I really want to try, but I've been loving this. You guys, I am so picky with lotion on my hands throughout the day, but my hands just have been so dry 
with just the dry weather and I keep one of these in my car as well as on my desk. I bought one, fell in love with it, bought another. Like I already am obsessed with this. There's a couple reasons why I love it. It sinks into my skin and my hands so good. Like it doesn't leave like this greasy feeling all over my hands, which I hate. And if a lotion does that, I will go to the bathroom and wash it off. I don't care if I need it. Like I hate that. I also like that it's not scented. This is the Gold Bond Age Renew Crepe Corrector. I love this stuff. Yeah, like I said, I have two of them and they're, it's not my nighttime like lotion because I have a thicker one for that, but for daytime that is like perfection for me and my lotion needs. Okay, let's move on to makeup. I really don't have very much. Um, the first one is this uh, Pacifica Dream Dreamlit Glow Concealer. I am so impressed with this. The only thing I absolutely hate is their color range sucks. But this is in the color 9, I think, 09. And it is so beautiful. It blends out so nice. It doesn't crease. It doesn't look cakey or dry or heavy. It's the perfect amount of everything. It's in a glass little container. It has a little doe foot. It very much so reminds me of the Kosas um, concealer. And it's just so pretty. I, I literally love the finish. And it's a really good shade match for me personally. I really only use it under my eyes because I still have been loving the house labs for on my face. I just feel like it's a creamier, more full coverage where that's kind of like a light serum -y sort of feel. I have three lippies here. The first one is the e.l.f. lip oil in the color Red Delicious. I've been wearing the heck out of this. I have as everyone fallen in love with lip oils this year and this formula is beautiful i got this on um ulta.com but it's kind of got a minty feel to it or smell to it it's like cushiony it's balmy enough where it's not like slips off your face some lip oils literally will just like melt down my chin and i hate that feeling so I have been loving this. If you haven't picked these up, I do recommend it. They're like eight bucks or something like that. Super affordable. And I feel like they're just as good as the other lip oils that I've tried. I've tried the lip oils. What have I tried? Merit and, um, why can I not? House Labs. This is just right up there with it. And it's like, a third of the price so can't recommend those enough and then these guys are relatively new to me I've had them for about a week now and I can't stop applying them I don't know like if I'm going to continue to repurchase some Friday I love summer Friday it's $24 for a freaking lip balm granted they last me a really long time and I I'm really careful about mine and don't mix my pattern so I have the vanilla one in the car pink sugar on my desk and I have a mint one down in the living area um and I don't really move them from those spots because if I did I would lose them um but these are nine dollars and I definitely think these are such a beautiful formula one thing I will say is I received them in the mail and since they're made with a lot of coconut oil they were so like thick and like um what do I want to say hard like not, you need to warm them up basically is what I'm saying. Um, but I really like these. They have a little bit of a coconutty, sunscreeny kind of smell to them. Um, they d just have a regular plastic tip applicator. And um, they, the, I got the clear one, which very much reminds me of just the vanilla one from um, Summer Friday. I will say they are cushiony. They're oily. They're very, very, very similar to the Summer Friday. I tried the Naturium and don't like that one as much. It's probably the only thing from Naturium that I don't love. It's not bad. It just wasn't my favorite. It was a little too thick. This is really an oil bomb. And it's literally lip oil bomb. It's perfect. I thought it was going to be too oily. It's not. It's thick enough, but not sticky. It's very cushiony. And then I also got the Dragon Fruit one. They have other colors, but these are pretty pigmented okay so here is the dragon fruit one this like makes summer fridays look like nothing because summer fridays is very like not pigmented not that i care but this is pretty pigmented so i didn't want like the brown or the crazy ones i loved this color so these are the two i got and if you were on the fence or thinking about it or just want to try something that's a bit more affordable than the summer friday one um, because the fact that I have three of them out of my house, that is $75 worth of lip balm. 
yeah, that's disgusting. So these I definitely would recommend. I hope that they start to carry them in, Sof um, not Sephora, uh, Target eventually. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Love them. Uh, I do like the scent of the Summer Fridays a little bit better. These all just have like a coconutty vanilla scent to them, but no complaints. Honestly, they are just as good as Summer Fridays in my opinion. All right, let's move on to hair. So I did like dye my hair, not even dye my hair. I got low lights in my hair and then I did a darker toner on my hair because I wanted to go more towards my natural roots. You can kind of tell I have this like thick, I just felt like my hair was over hydrated or over hydrated, over highlighted. And I wanted to go more back towards like a neutral, very like my hair tone color, which I've never done in like my entire life. But in my defense, my hair has always been pretty light. But over the past couple of years, I've just noticed a shift and it's getting darker. And that's okay. I'm just trying to lean and embrace it. So I did get my hair done. Um, next time I go, I will ask her for the details because I know some of you had asked um, and I'm really bad at remembering and asking. So I will next time. But I have been on a, I think I talked about this last month that I fell in love with the Kristen S clarifying shampoo and I still love that I use that at least once a week I'm on like every two to three days washing my hair and I my hair has never been better like I feel like the health of my scalp is so much better I'm just I'm on a hair growth journey so I'm really focusing on that which I think a lot of people did this year and the biggest thing I noticed um why my scalp was just producing so much oil is because I was using a moisturizing shampoo when that is the last thing I needed. So I switched to a clarifying shampoo, really fell in love with the Kristen S and then there's this one. Okay. I've never tried R and Co. I've heard a million things about it. This literally checked all of my boxes. It's called the television perfect hair shampoo. This is supposed to be like, um, a oil. What do I want to say? Like an oil, regulating balancing sort of shampoo without drying out your ends which a lot of clarifying shampoos can do and i know i'm not putting it on my ends but when i'm washing it through it still can dry out your ends so this is like the perfect balance i never really thought shampoo mattered until i tried this it's expensive i get it um you don't need a ton it smells like i don't know kind of like not i don't know how to explain it herbally citrusy situation it's nothing crazy it doesn't leave your hair like with this scent in it but I have loved this I feel like it makes my hair shiny without making it oily it's freaking good like yeah I can't say enough good things about it so it get it's supposed to be like television perfect hair it gives you it says it'll give you everything you need for the small screen which I think is like tv Body, shine, strengthening, softening, and smoothing. Um, apply it to the roots, rinse well, da 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 da. I don't have the conditioner. I don't really care for the con or for like a bougie conditioner because I just apply it from here down. Maybe that'll change once my hair gets longer, but I just use Pantene. But this shampoo, game changer. All right, let's move into, oh wait, no, sorry, I have one more hair product. This is the Living Proof Dry Volume and Texture Spray. I didn't put this in my hair just so I could show you um, how much I love this stuff. Oh, I got lip gloss in my hair. So I have naturally pretty flat hair, and I mean, can you just see what that did to my hair? It's kind of like a mix between a dry shampoo and a hairspray. Gives you a lot of texture, but you don't have to like spray it directly on the roots, which I love. I have been loving this stuff. Gives the perfect amount of grit without making your hair feel like disgusting. I have a ton of those because I bought a lot of the like um, value packs like gift sets when they do their dry shampoo advanced dry shampoo and i literally love that one i can't believe i had just been keeping them in my drawer not using them i think i have two more i have this one and I, yeah i have another one and then the other this is the dry shampoo that i love that comes in the kit but that texture spray is it's really nice i don't use hairspray and dry shampoo nearly as much i just use that and it gives me the perfect like grit and texture to my hair um and I love it. So that has been a favorite. Let's move on to fashion really quick. I don't have that much fashion, which is surprising, but I've really just been like not 
I don't know, just been very basic, very simple, but I have some really good pieces. So the first one is this little Sherpa from Old Navy. I'm sure you've seen it everywhere. I really wanted the Free People one, but I just love Free People's clothes, but why is like the most basic things so expensive? So many people talk about it and I like loved, I saw, I got like a pop-up ad on my Facebook and it was like this striped shirt and I was like, that's so cute. I click on it thinking it was gonna be like maybe $50, $98. It was like, ew. I was like, I'll get it in two colors and then saw the price and I was like, I'm gonna get it in no colors. That's insane. So I hopped my happy butt over to Old Navy to try out their Sherpas before I decided if I wanted the slopes, I think it's hit the slopes or something. I still might get it, but ugh, it's just, I think it's like a hundred and something dollars. Whereas this was like 30. So love this thread. I think it's so cute with just like, I normally throw it on when I'm going to the gym or Pilates or just like run errands. It looks cute with jeans. It looks cute with everything. I love this little Sherpa. Um, and I like the red. I've been loving the red, obviously. Okay, next are some jackets. So I showed this in my Old Navy haul, which I'll throw up in the cards. I've been finding so much good stuff on Old Navy for like years now. I've always loved Old Navy. But they had these little like codigans. It, I was worried that they weren't going to be like thick enough, but honestly, they're fine for what they are. This is this like dark chocolatey brown which i love i love so much i got this one in an extra small and then i got the gray they didn't have an extra small so i just got the small on this i would say you could stay true to size it's pretty oversized but you could size down as well i would have probably gotten it in an extra small but i loved the gray so much again it's not lined or anything like that so it's not uber warm but it's the perfect like layering cute jacket for like a good affordable price. First of all, never pay full price for Old Navy because they are always doing like 50% off, 60% off. But um, I feel like coats like this, even at like Abercrombie, they're unlined and they're still like a hundred something dollars. And it's like, no, girl, bye. So I have washed this one um, and I haven't had any like pilling or issues with it. So yeah, love the gray one. I'm gonna be bringing the gray one um, to like my vacation spots for Christmas. I say vacation when I was not a vacation. You know what I mean? <laughs> Next coat is my new like winter coat. If you guys have not seen my Quince hauls, I will throw them up in the cards. Quince has been like my favorite place to shop recently. I am making this shift that I'm committed to really looking at the fabric makeup of the clothes that I choose to buy just because I feel like I haven't looked at that in the past and I'm starting to educate myself more. We can all grow, learn, you know, but I'm really wanting to go more towards natural fibers. They hold up better. They feel better, all of that stuff. Um, and Quince does all of that at a really affordable price because sometimes natural fiber, like nuts. I bought Scott a little quarter zip from Faraday, which was like a very nice um, quality materials, whatever. $200. So like natural fiber things can be just so expensive, but that's why I've been loving quince. But I picked up this coat, which very like much so resembles the Aritzia Super Puff. Um, and it's like a third of the price. I freaking love this. It is made with like goose down, isn't it? So the shell is 100% recycled polyester. But the lining, um, it, and so is the the lining, but the filling is 90% goose down and 10% feathers. So good. I've washed and worn this coat so many times because I continue to spill stuff on it. I got this like sage green. It is perfection. I love that it has these little like sleevey things. It's the perfect coat. And like I said, I've washed it at least three times and you just, the key to washing it and getting it to fluff back up again is just put a tennis ball in your dryer with it. It's so good, it has a removable hood. I can't say I'm good things. Um, and then also from Quince is this little like duffel bag, weekender bag, very similar to the Dagny Dover, which I have their um, diaper bag, love it. But their one like this is like almost $200, if not a little bit more, this was a hundred bucks. And I love this. It's such a good little weekender bag. I love the neoprene, the green, it has good like, zippering i'm going to be taking this on our trips as well and i can't say enough good things about it it's just perfect and 99 bucks compared to like two something um and i feel like the quality is 
exactly the same with a lot of those brands obviously I get it they're the ones innovating these things I get that but like at the end of the day you're paying for the brand more than you're paying for anything else um, so I love that Quince kind of takes out that middle name middleman the name brand and just does really high quality stuff for an amazing price so love that thing it also fits on like a rolly suitcase thing if you want to see the full thing I will leave it up in the cards from my video last but not least let's wrap up with food with food okay so I recently got well not recently I got a Costco membership like a couple of months ago and I've been finding these there which I hadn't found for the first like month I went there they are they sell fast you can only get two per person um per membership whatever so I stock up when I can find them I always get two but these are the Fairlife nutrition plan 30 grams of high quality protein it's literally just milk there's no like whey protein pea protein there's none of that it's literally just milk but like filtered i love these i drink these every single morning now before i work out before caffeine hits my body this is what i'm drinking and i feel like it's just better for me there's this whole thing like 30 30 30 which is like 30 grams of protein 30 minutes after you work out and 30 minutes of like steady state cardio um i mean whatever i'm just trying to eat something before I'm going in with copious amounts of caffeine and that's just quick easy it's 150 calories for 30 grams of protein if you can find them at Costco a 30 or an 18 pack is like 32 bucks or something like that so it's not as bad another thing from Costco if I haven't convinced you to get a Costco membership you need to this is the toasted seaweed I'm so picky about my seaweed this and Trader Joe's good I mean, I love all like actual Asian ones, but like if you're going to pinch this in the Trader Joe's one, phenomenal. So you guys, that wraps up everything. That is the end of December, the end of the year favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed all the favorites that I've done throughout the year. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm probably not going to do a wrap up video of like my favorites of 2023 just because it's like, yeah if you cared you probably would have watched all my other favorites but nonetheless I hope you guys had a great year I'm excited to continue on sharing and um just being with you guys in 2024 I hope you have a great holiday season and I love you guys and I'll see you next year <laughs>